Well, I think uh, in India and Iceland have a lot of opportunities, and not least when it comes to the issues of climate uh, cooperation, when it comes to geothermal energy, where we already have a cooperation which we should deepen and expand. We have uh, possibilities in deepening the cooperation when it comes to carbon binding. Uh, we have already also a cooperation when it comes to the fishery sector, where we can do more when it comes to innovation. Uh, and there, both India and Iceland can share with each other knowledge and, and uh, capacities, really, to produce added value out of our fish. Then we also talked about other issues like culture, uh, gender equality, and other uh, areas where we actually have a lot of uh, knowledge to share and can deepen our uh, very good relation. You're talking about the culture. How do you see the Iceland as a destination for Indian tourists? Well, uh, we are very happy to welcome Indian tourists uh, and guests in Iceland. Uh, Iceland is a very different, obviously, these are very different countries. Uh, India is like a continent of its own, but Iceland has its attraction being we are so few that live here and the unspoiled nature is, of course, unique. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not totally neutral when it comes to this, but it's a, it's a beautiful place. And uh, you have been a supporter of yoga. How do you see it in your country? It's a very, yoga is very popular in Iceland, and uh, a lot of people practice it uh, regularly. So, uh, and uh, we have talked about yoga, me and Mr. Modi. Uh, so it's, a, it's something that we also, we find it, it's like a, also a part of the culture, which is interesting to share for Iceland and India.